you did, you put yeah. up some setting button. I didn't click anything. Yeah. All I did was change it to video. Yeah, right, everybody. <clears throat> All right, everybody. Uh, I'd like to start off by saying, I think there should be a law in this country that says anyone who makes it to the age of 35 without having any biological children gets a million dollars from the government. Now, how freaking awesome would that be? <laughs> Finally, you give people a reason to stop filling the world with their dumb, stupid kids. I mean, do you know how much damage a single baby does to the, to the environment? Jeez, I mean, I, I mean, I mean, hold up, did the funny part's coming. I, I mean, I mean, I mean, it's not that hard to stop making babies, people. You just pull out. It's easy. All, all you do is when you're having sex with a girl, you just pull out your dick and come all over the bitch's face. And if she has a problem with it, that means she doesn't care about the environment. I, mean, <laughs> I messed up the delivery on that one. But okay, more jokes. Uh, I, I, I'm, <clears throat> I, I'm, I'm getting tired of pedophiles, man. They're on every television channel now. You can't turn on the TV without seeing them. Hey, anyone seen that show, Catch a Predator, with Chris Hansen? Tell me now, is that show not the worst publicity ever for white people? You got, you, 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 you got white guys walking through the door like, Hey, how's it going? I'm here to fuck an eight-year-old. I got juice boxes and condoms in my back seat. Like, could, 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 could they just please move that show to a black neighborhood just one time? That's all I ask. That's all I ask. All right. Um. All right. More jokes, more, more, more jokes, people, more jokes, more jokes. Um, uh, here, 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 here's some advice, fellas. You, you never want to, here, here's some advice, fellas. When, when you're with your lady, you never want to look at another girl and make it obvious. She'll slap the hell out of you like, what the hell, were you just looking at the other girl's butt? No, I promise, never, never, run. never do such a thing, you know? <laughs> Well, what you gotta do, fellas, is take my advice on this. You gotta, you gotta be clever about this shit. If, if you just wait, fellas, your girl will eventually, unknowingly, help you out on this. She'll be like, Oh my god, that's so disgusting. That, that girl's barely wearing anything at all. What? Where? 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 <laughs> oh, you're right. Uh, how, how, how can she wear that? that? That's just degrading to women, the way her boobs are falling out like that. That's just wrong. Hold on one second, honey. I'm gonna go over there right now. I gotta go over there right now and explain to her that that is not appropriate. No, <laughs> it's not, not appropriate to be wearing that. No. But uh, I got more jokes, people. Thank you, thank you for... I just wanna move this thing up. There we go, boom. More jokes, more jokes incoming right now, okay. Uh, Your tie oh, is I, I remember, fresh. I remember, I remember it now. I remember my joke. Okay. <clears throat> remember, fellas, if you want to have a... Uh, re re Remember, fellas, if you want to have a good relationship with your female companion, you got to be the one who gives her oral sex. you got to take care of her needs, fellas. You know, we, 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 women love that shit, you know. I, I, I was talking to a girl recently who explained it to me. She was like, yeah, this one guy, he tried to eat me out. And I was like, really, dude? Come on, man. Can you please just stop my pussy? I'm not a junior high anymore. I'm also fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> More, more jokes in coming. More, more jokes in coming. <laughs> okay, okay. Next joke. Next joke is coming. Uh, there, there, there's, there's too many people in prison, man. How the hell is smoking marijuana a crime? And let's be honest. Everyone is a criminal in some way, okay? Like Jesus said, he who is without sin may cast the first stone. Everyone's done something bad, okay? It just depends on the level of badness. Now, I understand there's really bad, high-level crimes like robbing a bank or murder. I understand that. But there's also the lower-level crimes that no one cares about, like jaywalking or stealing a pack of bubblegum or having non-consensual sex with a college girl. And I guess my point is we shouldn't care about the small crimes because you're not hurting anyone important when you do them. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this, is, this, is, this is fun for me. This is fun for me. Okay, more jokes. Uh, they're, 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 they're gonna keep on coming for like about another six minutes. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, I need I need six minutes, please. Okay. Okay. Um, oh yeah. I, I met a girl once who told me a story about how she was afraid of cocaine. She said that the drug was so powerful and she liked it so much that she would be afraid whenever she walked into a party, fearing someone might have it. She, she, she said that um, she knew that if someone brought it out, 
then that was done. She was over. She wouldn't be able to say no, and she wouldn't know what her next 10 hours would be. And I was just like, bitch, I gotta get you some fucking cocaine, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's, that sounds like what you fucking need, right? <laughs> some cocaine. <laughs> All right, more jokes. More jokes are coming. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, shut, shut up. Do, do, not, do not laugh. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, okay, you. I will okay. laugh as I please. Okay, you can laugh away. Uh, hmm. Oh, ah, my next joke. Here it is. There, there's a so. Oh, there, 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 there's so many differences between men and women, man. But I think if you were to hook us both up to a lie detector, I think both of us would, on average, be able to pass a relationship morality test. Like, like, like if you hook a girl up and be like, okay, so, you love your man, you love your kids? She'd be like, yes, yes, I do. Be like, okay, so, you, you, you love your family, and you're dedicated to work hard, make everything work for them? She'd be like, yes, yes, I am. Be like, okay, so, uh, let, let, let's say someone like Channing Tatum or George Clooney. Would, 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 would you risk everything you have to get with one of those guys? And you see, uh, w- w- women would pass the test. W- uh, uh, a girl would be like, okay, you know, like, honestly, like, like, you know, honestly, like, yeah, they look good, but, you know, honestly, like, I just don't think it would be the right thing to do, you know? You see, women would pass the test, but if, 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 you, were, if you were to ask a guy those same questions, be like, okay, so, you, you love your wife, you love your kids, you'd be like, yes, yes, I do. Be like, okay, so, you... You, you, you love your family and you're dedicated to work hard to make everything work out for them. He'd be like, yes, yes, I am. Be like, be like, okay, dude, uh, all right. Um, you, you see that drunk girl over there passed out behind the dumpster? Well, would you risk everything to get with that girl? Be like, oh, I don't know, man. Oh, she's so cute. I don't know. Hell yeah, I fucking tap it, dude. Hell yeah. I don't know. Fucking tap that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Next joke. Next joke. Next joke. What is my next joke? Let me let me think. Tap that oh, shit, bro. I freaking remember my next joke now. I remember it. Um, I uh, I uh, really like this white thing I got going on, man. It's, it's freaking awesome, man. Being white kicks ass, you know. And like like e- e- everywhere I go, people respect me, and bitches just want to like suck my dick all the time. It's fucking awesome, man. <laughs> Like, uh, like, like, if I if I just walk into a room, right, like all all, all the Asian girls are just like, oh my god, that guy's white, oh my god, I just have to suck his dick, oh my god. <laughs> I just, you know, like like uh, the Asian girls just love me and it's just like, oh my god, you're white, oh my god, can I please just suck your dick, oh my god. And I'm like, hold on, hold on, bitch, just hold on, you know. <laughs> this white dick ain't going anywhere, you know. This <laughs> this is white, you know, I'm white, I know, but I ain't going anywhere. <laughs> Okay, more notes. I got about two more minutes. Two more minutes, okay, let me see. What? No, okay, wait, my best joke then. I got like two more good ones. Uh, no! <laughs> well, that's the second time that has ever happened. <laughs> See, it works every time. Woo! True story that actually happened in Indianapolis. Uh, I'm, I'm used to it. I usually tell chicks that it's the only first time it's ever happened, but that's all. <laughs> well, uh, you know, transgenders, man, they're taking over. I've worked with a transgender chick trying to transgender into a male. And it gets agitated when I don't call it the he. So I've just referred to it as Pinocchio. And she's not very well seasoned in the Disney aspects of things. She more likes football now. Or she's trying real hard to be a guy. And I told her, I said, Pinocchio, you know, it makes sense. She's like, why do you keep calling me Pinocchio? I'm like, because one day you want to be a real boy. Oh! <laughs> I love disabilities too, man. Disability is great. I don't have any of it. I love like uh, deaf chick with a hair lip. Probably one of my favorite disabilities ever. Could you imagine the conversation between a deaf chick with a hair lip and a mom? You know, like if the mom says, "I need you to go to the fish market and get two pounds of mackerel," so she goes, and she looks at, and you're looking at me awful weird. Don't worry, lady. It's just a joke. I'm, I'm really not like that. I don't kill babies. I tell jokes. It's cool. I choose to tell ba- dead baby jokes. You choose to wear that top. It's cool. But uh, that trip with a hair will go to the fish market. 
2018, guys, you've heard worse. But, uh, moral of the story, she puts her finger in her vagina, puts it up against the guy's face. He says, Holy mackerel. And she said, Yeah, you don't know, two pounds. But, uh, since you guys don't think that's funny, that's cool. I appreciate it. Other venues will take me. That's cool. I love all y'all. I hope all y'all love me. You probably don't, but it's cool. Give me a round of applause. You got your hands ready. Woo! Go ahead and play. Guys, give it up. Gentlemen, come to the stage now. He says this is his very first time on stage. Would you please welcome Lucio Adami. <laughs> Thanks, Grandpa. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Hey, can we turn the lights on? I can't even uh, see everybody back here. All right, well, it's okay. <laughs> I guess everybody heard that I was coming out today and decided to stay home or something. But, uh, either way, I'm not, uh, I'm here, if you have tips or anything, hey, go ahead and help me out. But uh, I guess, let's see, it's first time up here. Um, let's see what we can do. Hey, so far it's going good right now. Thanks, I'm doing good. But uh, where's, all the, where's all the hot ladies at? Okay, I see some came to check me out, huh? All right, guys, y'all better watch out. After the show, I might take them. So, let's see what happens. <laughs> hey, I don't know, I'm just going with it. But, uh, okay, we're good right now. All right. Uh, all right. Yeah, it's kind of bright up here, but either way, before I left the house, I was talking to my daughter. She's like, Daddy, where are you going tonight? It's like, oh, I'm gonna go to somewhere nothing for adult people. You know, she's like, I want to come too. I'm like, no, you can't. But either way, I told her a couple jokes and she was like, Daddy, you're not that funny. I was like, why? She's like, just because you're not. I was like, yes, I am. Either way, but I'm still out here trying to do my best. <laughs> and uh, hey, I'm, I'm, hope, I'm glad you're having a good time and everything. But uh, Hey, it's alright if I suck, I hurt that though, but it's good. I, mean, I don't see you up here trying to do it, so. So, if you have balls, come up here, let's go. He's pretty good. But, uh, so, yeah. So, uh. Only 55 more seconds, Oh, yeah, that's what my girlfriend told me last time. So, so you know, I just gotta pace myself. Either way, uh. Just close your eyes and, you know. Everything will be all right. Uh, hey, uh, hey, this is good. If, hey, if y'all want to come and check me out after the show or anything, I'm taking pictures, autographs, three dollars. All right, meet me out here in the lobby or outside. But uh, either way, my name's Lucio, and 20 seconds left. I could milk this clock right now. All right, uh, let's see what we could do in 20 seconds. Where are you from? Where I'm from? I'm from here. Don't worry about it. That's not important. I'm trying to give you some time. Oh, you're trying to give me time. Thanks a lot. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I still can't see that many people out here, though, but I think it's kind of dark. But it's all right. Um, hey. Oh, thank you very much. Hey. Have run. Hey. Hey. Welcome to FE. We're gathered here at the second biggest event called F8 this week. And, uh, you know, we probably should have seen this one coming after, probably should have seen this coming after Fast and Furious 7. Didn't. It's our bad. Now, while we 
don't have The Rock here today, we do have the tech equivalent, David The Rock Marcus. And while we may not live our lives a quarter mile at a time, <laughs> I know at least some people here live their lives one quarterly earnings at a time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, bear with me. I got one more. One more for you. All right. Um, while Fast and Furious's tagline is never give up on family, ours is similar. Never give up on the family of apps. <laughs> All right. Not as catchy. Not as catchy. Uh, I could just keep going. I wrote like six more of these, but I understand that some of you are here to see a tech keynote. You suck. I can't help it. All right. Uh, last month, I, I wrote a letter on building community. I have it here. <laughs> and, uh... It's long. It's like 6,000 words. And, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if all you guys got a chance to read every word of it, so I figured maybe we'd just start by reading it to you right now. Uh, all right. In all seriousness, our hearts go out to the family and friends of Robert Godwin Sr. And uh, we have a lot of work, and we will keep doing all we can uh, to prevent tragedies like this from happening. <laughs> and think about uh, if your daughter is a big Harry Potter fan, for her birthday, you can change your home into Hogwarts. Although I bet some of you were hoping I'd hit the toilet paper button. <laughs> uh, you can add a lot of bouncy balls. We're a fan of bouncy balls. And, uh, and we can fill the room up with Skittles, because the future is delicious. So thank you all for coming out. Fuck you! Since it seems to be like sharing other art forms that you do, Mike, tonight, um, <laughs> the, the, no, I don't mean that in a derogatory way, honestly. Uh, would anyone like to hear uh, a song from my new musical I'm working on? Okay. <clears throat> Here it goes. Um. Men are trash. Men are trash. Sometimes I want to kill them all and sell their parts for cash. <laughs> the musical's called Vampire Feminist. Hey, thanks for sticking around. Thanks so much. Thank you. Clap for us, please. We're approaching the end of the night. Yeah. At the Baltimore School of Music year end uh, recital. Yeah, of dance. Is Thank what you. you meant. Thank you so How, much. How's everyone's uh, late May, early June going? My name's Cole Barton, I'm a nine-year-old. Hi, my name's Claire Pellegrino, I'm also a nine-year-old. We are uh, We're siblings, siblings, the same age, born same the same day. year, same day, not twins. Not twins, though. Don't think we that. have the same fathers, though. Yeah. And we would like to, we'd like to make a shout-out to our fathers in the audience tonight. Uh, professional hockey players Wayne Gretzky and other professional hockey players Sidney Crosby. Thanks They're so much for Um, We'd also like to thank um, our teacher, our dance, our dance teacher. teacher, Mr. Milliman, yeah. who's also in the audience and has uh, taught us this final dance for the evening. And so we will we'll now do our final dance, and it's a waltz. <laughs> Close your ears. 
Uh, first poem that I'd like to do for you is called Bear Grylls. One time, I was hitchhiking. I didn't have any money and I was really hungry. Walking through a parking lot, I saw a used condom on the ground. A voice in my head said, that's protein. <laughs> I did not pick it up or eat it. But it's really good to know that I'm a survivalist. <sighs> Guys, at least once or twice a day, I whisper to myself, now's my chance. <laughs> That's it. That's how I'm gonna tell you what kind of gal I am. <laughs> the kind of person that has to positively reaffirm herself with little phrases throughout the day. Now's my chance. <laughs> oh, now's my chance. <laughs> what I didn't tell you is that immediately following, two to four seconds later, I whisper, oh, fuck. I miss my chance. <laughs> there goes the bus. not a man or a job it's just, it's just a bus feminism gets a bad rap right I think that a lot of people misunderstand it because at its core it's a great ideology right equal rights for all genders nothing wrong with that but a lot of people think it means that women are gonna seize control of society subjugate men dominate them and we're very clear that's not what feminism means to most people while also being very clear, that's what it means to me. Um, yeah, that's, that's right. What's so cool is we didn't even come up with that. We were like, please just pay us the same for a shitty job. And men are like, what, you want control of society? We're like, oh my god, you're so smart. <laughs> Another great idea for men, thanks. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but we like to get a little buck wild down at our comedy shows. I was uh, hosting an open mic once and a drunk duck dynasty dude decided that he wanted to try out comedy. And instead of shaking my hand, which is customary, he grabbed it, forced it up, and then licked the entire top of it. Thank you. That's the correct reaction. <laughs> I feel like some people get like sexually turned on when I say that, and that is not appropriate. <laughs> uh, so this guy spent his first whole minute talking about all the sluts he fucks. You know, the kind of sluts that give you the sores in your mouth. Might I remind you that about a minute prior to this, he licked the entire top of my hand. Yeah. He then had two whole minutes all about being real good at sucking asshole. Yeah. Who calls it that, by the way? Oh, you guys are sucking asshole crowd? Sorry. <laughs> Wrong room. Sorry, Bellevue. <laughs> uh, it's fun, though. I uh, recently went home to uh, Albuquerque to visit my family. Hey, grandmother had colon cancer, and apparently one of the symptoms is that you pee all the time. So now whenever I drink too much water, I have to worry about whether I'm pregnant or have ass cancer. Um, usually I just have to pee, but uh, you never know. Um, I forgot that I was supposed to meet up with someone on Saturday. <laughs> And I realized that today, on Wednesday, because they liked one of my pictures. And I'm like, damn, I feel like I need to apologize. And while I was like considering whether or not I was gonna apologize, I was scrolling and saw a picture of them and was like, shit, do I apologize and then like their picture? Do I like their picture and then apologize? Do I like their picture and not apologize? Do I not do either? I just like their picture, we'll see where it goes. Cause those glasses were sick, okay? So I was like, they're like new glasses. I was like, well, that's enough of an apology, right? It's like, your glasses are dope. We can be friends again. They're not gonna make plans with me anymore though. No. You guys, I, uh, I think I can hear your thoughts. 
I can almost see it on your faces. You're thinking, oh, she's tall, isn't she? Got a deep voice, broad shoulders, big hands. You don't suppose she's, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's just get that out of the way right up front. It's true. I am an Amazon. <laughs> All right, that's not true. <laughs> it is true that I am transgender. And I have adorable hazel eyes. No, that's it's another applause break later. Um, I've known all my life that I should have been born a girl. I wasn't. And no one else knew that until about the time that they started asking me what I wanted to be when I grew up. And I found out that pretty was not an acceptable answer for a little boy. Right now for Wasim. Wasim, give it up, you guys. Latina, 
Um, damn. And that was it. Baby, right there. And, uh, I know, like, shit, I was so fucking into her. Like, she was beautiful as fuck. She, uh, seemed pretty, uh, pretty assertive, pretty, you know, hard will. She's Latina, so, of course, there you go. You know, like, she was gonna fuck my world up. And, uh, damn, like, I just fell apart after that. She started, you know, you know, telling me what she wanted and saying I wasn't good enough and and uh, I was just trying to please her. That's that's me. I'm a good guy, I'm a nice guy and uh, shit. That was it. I became her bitch. And uh, damn, I have kept that title for about a year now. We got a baby, six months. Uh, it's, t it's fucking tough. Um, the baby is fucking beautiful. The only reason I'm fucking standing today, uh, it's hard though. It's fucking hard. I'm, uh, just trying to still please her. She's still, you're not good enough. My dad's a fucking construction worker. You don't know work, bitch. You don't know shit. You can't do shit. You don't have any motivation to do anything. You just get these fucking high school jobs. And I'm just... I'm just being me. I'm just being the same old nice guy. Same old, you know, um, it is a bit changed though. Now, uh, I'm pretty fucking beaten down. I kind of hate the fuck out of her now. Uh, I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, I'm a fucking nice ass guy and she's beating the shit out of me. Uh, scratched the fuck out of my face. Told me horrible, horrible emasculating things. I'm not the same anymore. I am, the, my view on girls, you're gonna, you're the death of guys. You're just gonna destroy me. Next time I get into a relationship, I am, I'm scared. I'm scared as fuck. Like, what, is this gonna happen again? Maybe it will, shit. I'm gonna just be destroyed. I'm gonna be fucking broken down. I'm probably gonna, just decided to run into income and come in traffic probably uh because i'm just too too fucked up uh my baby's beautiful though and uh i love the fuck out of her but i am just not even whole again i'm not who i was I, uh, my friends tell me i'm not even funny anymore um shit i am just a broken man and I don't know what to do. I'm just trying to get a job. I got a shitty ass car wash job right now. She's still going on. Still, you're a bitch. You can't do shit. You still got these fucking high school jobs. And I'm horny as fuck though. And I like uh, beautiful older women. I like beautiful thick legs, beautiful big breasts. I'd like to go with an Asian or a black girl.